Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My first review is The Taking of Deborah Logan in 2014. Here's the storyline. What is taking Deborah Logan? Some memories are worth forgetting. Directed by Adam Robitel. Written by Adam Robitel and Gavin Hafferman. Released October 21st, 2014. Here's the cast. Jill Larson as Deborah Logan. Anne Ramsey as Sarah Logan. Michelle Ang as Mia Medina. Ryan Catrona as Harris, Anne Bedian as Dr. Nazir, Brett Gentile as Gavin, Jeremy DeCarlos as Luis, Tanya Bloodsworth as Deputy Linda Tweed, Julianne Taylor as Kara. And the cast goes on. Here is a very interesting film. All right, folks, everyone knows that I am not a major, major fan of slow-paced movies. movie starts off with a character by the name of Deborah Logan. This uh, crew goes to investigate this uh, Deborah Logan and her daughter to videotape her disease. But there's more that meets the eye with this disease of Alzheimer's. You know, she forgets things and... You know, back and forth to the doctors, and she does some strange stuff, and then she starts speaking languages, starts acting weird, starts getting these um, rashes and, and stuff, and then the story starts to unfold. The Taking of Deborah Logan is basically a possession film being possessed by a killer that was once one of her clients because she used to uh, have a phone service at her house. That's about all I'll say. I don't want to ruin the film. It's well acted, well shot, an interesting storyline, but my biggest pet peeve of this film, like any other film, is the slow pacing. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not my cup of tea. It annoys the shit out of me. Now, by saying that, if a film can make up for it at the end of the film, all right, I can deal. The ending of this film is different, unique, weird. I'll just say this. It is what it is. I mean, it's all right. I'm not bashing it. But again, the uh, slow pacing has a lot to do with my opinion in this film. But the storyline, like I said before, is pretty interesting. It is what it is. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6 out of 10. Slightly above average. I mean, again, I'm not a fan of slow paced. So that being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.